Hey guys, it's Wendy from Wendy's Art. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to paint a mouse in watercolor. As always, I start with my pencil sketch. I draw out the actual contour, but I didn't sketch out all the details of the fur. I just draw the darker areas. This way, it's easier for the coloring process later. Then I start painting from the eyes. Uh, for any animals that I do, I always start painting from the eyes because if you paint the eye well, it usually helps the whole painting a lot. And I'm using the number zero pen brush here. It's great for small details. After that, I put a base wash on. It's very watery. I suggest to keep the base layer lighter so we can work on layers and details afterwards. And I change to my number A brush and I avoid the light reflections while painting the base wash. The back area has a darker color so I apply a little bit more color on it. Next, I add the darker layer over the first wash while the paper is still wet so we can get this natural blending color. Then, wait until the paper is dry, I start painting the darker fur around the head. I'm using my number zero paintbrush here. Notice where the direction fur goes. For example, the fur goes from top to down around the head and around the eyes, it goes from left to right. It's quite important to observe where the fur goes because it does affect your finished painting. Then I adjust color accordingly. For the darker fur, I use indigo mixed with dark brown color. I suggest to avoid use only one black color because it looks dull and boring. Then I add darker whiskers. Leave the white whiskers at the end because we're gonna use the white gel pen for that. Then I move to the body. Notice the fur color is lighter around the belly and the back areas has a darker color. Then follow the fur direction and continue painting the fur around the body. Next, I start painting the paws. I first paint out the contour, and after it's dry, I put the first layer on and avoid the refraction areas while coloring. Then I add darker shades while the paper is still wet, so the color blends out nicely. I also strengthen the fur around the paws, so it looks more natural. For the feet, I first mark out the darker control and add the base layer on. Then I add darker shades around the edge so it pops out more. Next, I move to another foot. Same as before, I mark out the control first and while waiting for the paper to dry, I go back to the left foot and add details around the tip areas. Then I move back to the right foot and add the base layer on and then I add darker details afterwards. Then 
Lastly, the touch up.、Um, before finish painting, I like to go back to see if there's any details missing or any areas need to be strengthened again. And don't forget to add the white whiskers at the end. I use the white gel pen for that. The white watercolor pencil might not be bright enough for this painting. So the painting is about done here. Comment below and let me know what do you think about it. That's all for today's video. I really hope it's helpful and you've enjoyed it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you never miss out on my weekly art videos and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week. Bye.